my name is Kayleen of Mighty Fit PH, and today I made you a warm up video. warm-up video so we're gonna spend a lot of time on the mat and all you have to do is follow me and do what I do. Marami kasi yung nagtatanong sa akin kung paano ba mag-warm up para sa isang workout. Lalo na ngayon na sarado yung studio at minsan madalas din tayo mag-workout sa bahay mag-isa. Usually hindi tayo sure kung paano nga ba mag-warm up but today bibigyan kita ng easy to follow routine na pwede mong gamitin para sa mga workouts mo. Of course, yung routine na ito ay hindi super specific, meaning kung yung workout mo maraming involved the splits, for example, you will need to work out your hamstring and warm up your hamstring a little bit more. This routine is more of like a general movement warm-up. If you just need a video for you to follow along to, that's this one. Also, sana makatulong to para hindi mo na feel na mag-isa ka mag-workout. Kasi minsan, although kaya naman natin mag-workout mag-isa, masaya pa rin na meron kang teacher o meron kang kasama kapag nagagawa ka ng mga exercise. So ako yun, sasamahan kita mag-workout. Gagalingan natin. Now I'm gonna go over to my mat and all you have to do is to follow. Remember to listen to your body. I'm your teacher but ultimately your body will know far more than I could ever. So if something feels too difficult, okay lang mag-regress. Ibig sabihin, okay lang nagawin mo yung easier version of the move or the exercise. Listen to your body and always move within your range of motion. Okay lang yan. You don't have to be intense all the time. What's more important is that you are consistent with your workouts. Because at the end of the day, fitness is a marathon and not a sprint. Ibig sabihin nun that the changes that you do in the long term are the things that will have a great effect in your life. Okay? Tara na! Warm up na tayo! Alright, today we're gonna do a simple warm up with a lot of mobility work. A few reminders before we start, remember that I am your mirror image, meaning my right is your left and my left is your right. All you have to do is to listen and follow what you hear. If anything is too difficult, don't forget to take a step back, breathe for a moment, and join us when you're ready and it's perfectly fine. Make sure that you have a water bottle with you so that you can hydrate anytime that you need to. Alright, now that we're ready, I will lead you through this warm-up and I hope that this prepares you for your workout for today. Alright everyone, find a space on your mat, stand with feet slightly wider than hip distance apart, extend your arms to the side, and let's rotate at the wrist. Bring your wrist turning forward, and go the other way, wrists turning back. This time, we will make bigger circles with our elbows. Circle your elbows out eight times. And circle it in. Now bigger circles, moving at the shoulder, loosening up the shoulders and the arms. Palms are nice and open. Now go the other way, bring it circling in. All right, now roll your shoulders forward. Loosening up your chest, arms nice and relaxed. Now bring this to the back, reverse way. Okay, now move your chest. You're gonna move it forward and back. The knees can bend slightly here. Make sure that your shoulders are nice and relaxed and you're concentrating the movement to spine mode. Let's do this a few more times in four, three, two and one now let's go side to side it goes right and left right and left a few more times here in five six seven and eight make circles nice big circles with your waist and your torso last one and go the other way same thing Last one. All right. Okay, stand up now and place your hands on your knees. 
drop the right shoulder down and transfer to the left do the same thing one more time right shoulder down and then the left straighten out the legs and reach down into the mat if you can reach the mat that's great if not you can regress this by propping yourself up a little bit higher you can also hold on a block but the important thing is to reach as far down as you can legs are straight body is relaxed neck is also relaxed now move this over towards the left side pulling your body as close to that leg as possible now transfer to the other side same thing body as close to the leg as possible feel a stretch in your hamstrings here and drop down the center hands transfer in the middle and fold forward again crown of the head as far down as you can feeling the length in your spine and also in your leg now sit over towards the left side pointing your right foot you can hold the floor for balance here or if you can't reach the slope you can be a little bit higher and that's okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flex and point your foot flex and point flex and point flex and point all right we're gonna transfer this party to the other side transfer and this time you're flexing your left point and flex point and flex point and flex keep going here trying to pronounce each movement as you go last two all right transfer your hands in front and go into a lunge plant your hands firmly on the mat extending the back leg bending the front stay in this position and feel the stretch here if you're ready we're gonna pulse this forward and back loosening up the hip back leg is nice and straight taking the move from your toes that are pulsing your body forward and back few more rounds here in five six seven and eight all right straighten out your leg front leg is straight back leg is straight staying in this position try to square your hips as much as you can feeling the stretch in your hamstring and also your calf take this down again into a lunge we're gonna try to add a little bit of a dynamic movement here meaning you're gonna straighten out your leg and bring it down to a lunge again let's do this eight times ready in five six seven and eight bring it up and down up and down up and down halfway we go for four three two and one all right straighten out your legs again and this time we're gonna transfer to the other side this time a lunge on your left same thing plant your hands on the mat back leg is straight front leg is bent in this position let's pulse bring it forward and back two three four five six seven and eight straighten out your legs and stay here for a bit We're gonna bring it down and up again. Ready? In five, six, seven, eight. Let's go down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, last, and eight. All right. Straighten out the leg, turn your toes to face front, hands in the center, and fold forward again. Push the floor as much as you can and you're going to sit on your right side, pointing your left foot. Taking your left hand, grab your ankle, right arm goes up, reach this to the side. Flex your foot and give it a good reach, if you can. If not, it's okay. Face down and we cover up. Let's do the other side. Transfer, point your toes, right hand on ankle, left goes up, reach. Flex your foot, face down. And recover up. All right, now we're gonna transfer to the middle of our mat with our feet together and our knees pushing down. 
If you can't push your knees down so much, that's fine. Just go as far down as you can without rounding your spine. Move this slightly forward and fold. We cover up and take this to a straddle, meaning extend your legs to either side of your mat. Sit tall, point your feet, and flex them. Point and flex. Point and flex. In five, six, seven, and eight. All right, point your toes. Bring your hands to the side, and let's reach towards the left. Back to the center, go the other way. Flex your feet. Let's do this one more time. Extend and reach. Last one. Up again and reach. Point your toes now and face down. Rotate your body to face that leg, bringing your body as far down as you can. Only go as much as your body will allow you. Don't force anything. No curl and transfer to the left side. Stay here. Flex your feet and move again. One last chance for again. Lift your body back up, point your toes, and this time reach down forward. Go as far down as you can. If your chest is touching the floor, great. If not, that's okay. You can regress, meaning back your hands uh, closer to you a little bit maybe a little bit more. The important thing here is that your spine is nice and straight. What you have to think about is that your belly button wants to touch the floor versus like a rounded back trying to touch your head down. So the important thing here is that you want to keep a neutral spine and you want to think about pressing your belly button down into the floor. Before we end in this position, point and flex a few more times just to stretch out your leg even more. Point and flex. Point and flex in five, six, seven, and eight. Point your toes, and this time we're gonna roll at our hips. Placing your hands on your thighs, try to roll your right hip down and your left hip down and see how this feels. The goal here is that as much of your leg has to touch the floor, and as much as you can, try that you get most of your leg to stay rooted on the mat. A few more times here. In five, six, seven, and all right. If you have a split, you can rotate this and land on your split. If not, you can bend the front leg. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go over to my left split, meaning my right hip goes down. I turn, 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 and I land on a split. If this doesn't quite work for you, a variation you can do is to bend the leg. So bend one leg, rotate the hip, and turn into your pigeon pose. Once you're in this position, take your body down. Stay here for a bit. And let's lift it up just to stretch your back too. Next, go back to center and let's do that whole thing, but this time landing on the other side. Let's try. Roll hips down. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, this time landing on the right side. Take the body down. If this is too much for you, you can do the same thing we did earlier where the front leg is bent. Take your body up. Give it a little bit of an arch. And go back to the center. Flex your feet and point just to loosen it up a little bit. And shake your legs together. All right. Bring your legs together on the mat. Body facing down. Hands are on the side of the body. Now pull those shoulders to the back. Feeling a stretch in the front side of your body and also your lower back. Stay here. Tuck your toes underneath. Bring your hips to the back. From this position, using your legs, launch this forward so that you land in a plank. Stay here. In your plank, pulse this forward and back, moving at the feet. This is helpful to warm up your shoulders and also practice bearing weight on your hands if you're going to do a workout that involves a lot of um, weight-bearing things on your hands. In 
five, six, seven, and eight. All right, take it down to a down dog. Feet are planted on the floor, arms are nice and straight, stay here. You can even bend your knees a little bit just to loosen the hamstrings a bit more in case you need that. Straighten out the legs and stay here. Now shift your weight back to plank and stay in this position for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Now bring it again to a down dog. Walk it to plank and pitch it back to down dog again. We're gonna do this eight times just to warm up the shoulders a little bit more. In five, six, seven, eight, let's go. Plank, back to down dog. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, stay in down dog. Take your left hand, reaching for the right ankle. Giving yourself a little bit of a twist here. We're almost at the end. Switch it up. Now it's your right hand, reaching for the left. Hands back down on the mat. Find length here, shoulders away from the ears. Legs are straight, arms are straight as well. Walk your hands close to your feet. Feel one last stretch on that hamstring. Bend at the knee slightly and slowly unfurl up. Your head coming up last. Come into the center of your mat. Feet wider than hips. Big breath in and exhale. Big breath in and exhale. One last shake of your arms and your legs. All right, that's your warm-up for today and now you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, hit subscribe, and leave a comment. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!